not unboxing clothing. I need makeup. I need eye accessories. I need an eyewear brand sponsor. I mean, this is fine, I suppose. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are on the globe. I'm Megan Aplon, bringing to you fur by the minute, the fluff, the raw, and sometimes the rough. In this week's fur, human headlines, a possum tool for parents, a petite pop, a furry outlaw, and our producer's picks of the week. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the projects that Replenish, or sponsor, have sent to me. So, it's a pretty box, yeah? You like the box? So it comes with a little bit of plastic right on the top here, right? So that you know it's not been tampered with. You open it like so. Look how easy. And what's in there are 10 of these. These are the packets. Replenish keeps active canines at the top of their game. First up, possible celebrity siblings. In an interview on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, Woody Harrelson addressed Matthew McConaughey's claims that the pair might be biological brothers. Harrelson revealed that McConaughey's mother once told him that she knew his father in a very ambiguous tone. And after doing some math, they determined that it was definitely a possibility. The two are already as close as brothers and are now debating moving forward with a DNA test. Well, let's end the suspense, men. Let's do this. Can I just say, along the nose, the nasal area, I definitely see it. Meanwhile, The Bachelor's Sean Lowe told US Weekly why his family recently rehomed their dog, Gus. Sean and his wife, Catherine Giudici, said they had to give away the bull mastiff puppy for their safety. The dog bit two of their three young kids over the past year. Thankfully, the children weren't seriously injured. Goss is now living with their dog trainer. The reality star pair adopted Goss in April last year. I think a lot of them people, right, they think it's cute when the puppy nibbles and they keep putting their fingers in there. And keeping it, I'm not saying that's what happened, but I have a feeling that's what it is. Next up, what if you could keep track of your pet's health care, feelings, training, and activities all in one place? Software engineer Ansi and researcher and teacher Dr. Anna came up with a solution to do just that. They join us from Finland to discuss their app and the Helsinki Chronic Pain Index for Animals. Welcome, Ansi and Anna. I'm so happy that we are having. So good platform now for pet parents. Dogs cannot communicate. They're pain like humans. And one in five dogs has chronic pain. There is lack of reliable ways to detect pain. That is the most important part of Postsomar to really identify pain. It helps dog owners to put down all the things that they should remember about their dog's health. It's also very useful for the veterinarians and that it will get medication, physiotherapy, acupuncture, or something else that will relieve its pain. There are a lot of breeder functionalities and the data can be transferred. What is put into the, the database that can be shared to researchers that then can do research on, for example, associations between diseases and diet or uh, what type of exercises are good for certain type of, of uh, injuries. And especially physiotherapists are using it here in Finland because they can really uh, give a training task uh, remotely. Uh, for example, do this kind of exercise and they can embed their uh, video link. It also has the Helsinki Chronic Pain Index about one fourth of all dogs at some time in their life will be in chronic pain. The Helsinki Chronic Pain Index is an index that is measuring how much chronic pain a dog has. The different versions have been researched and they have been translated and back translated and then, then tested on, on dogs in different languages. Well, thank you, Ansi and Anna. That was 
absolutely informative and we do appreciate the work that you do when it comes to chronic pain. Next up, a really tiny record. Two-year-old Chihuahua Pearl has been named the world's smallest living dog at just 3.59 inches tall and five inches long, weighing 1.22 pounds. She comes from a long line of petite pups as the previous record holder was her aunt Millie. Her lives in Orlando with her mom, Vanessa Semler, who maintains her little one's luxury lifestyle, shopping trips, fancy outfits, and chicken and salmon dinners. Next up, a wild cat causes chaos. Pakistan's Parliament House got a furry surprise this week when an Indian civet cat broke in through an office window. Officials from Islamabad's Wildlife Management Board chased the cat around as it crashed into and destroyed televisions, computers, plants, shelves, and even the ceiling. They finally caught the cat by dousing it in water. IWMB Chair Rina Khan Sati tweeted out that the cat probably broke in to get out of the rain and that there is nothing to be alarmed about. Yes, it's a wild animal, but harmless. Can I just point out the irony that Pakistan was chasing an Indian cat? And you know that Historically, Pakistan and India have had issues because of Kashmir. I think the cat was a protester. That's what I think. Yeah, I think that's, that's well, you know, you're a bit biased. I don't want to. <laughs> Next up, our producers picked their favorite videos of the week. Here we have Barstool Sports on TikTok. My He's ring camera caught a face off this morning. So you run away from a goose and let your dog hang in. You little wuss, you. And this is at later sightings underscore s. A few moments later Oh, a collective porcupine standoff Yes, try to get through Try to get through We're protecting our little ones You can't get through That's how you do it That's how you do it Yeah, bravery and that's a wrap for us this morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on where you are on the globe. I'm Megan Eppler. Be sure to sniff out the latest headlines you need to know from the Podemic Network, brought to you by The Muttley Crew. And if you have story suggestions or feedback, please leave a comment, subscribe, share, and like to The Muttley Crew channel on YouTube for fur and other awesome, awesome entertainment. <laughs> Sally looks bored, and I know I'm not boring. She looks bored, that's on her. Giudici, 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 Catherine Giudici. So, so she won. I hate to say this, McGann, but Alexandra, too, she had some fun ideas for some of these possible clips. That's I know we're not talking to her now, but... Stop doing that. You're feeding me things that I'm not trying to be fed. We're not talking to her. No. Do you think I would ever work for a network where I'd have my own personal nose wiper?